Good morning. Today is Monday, June the 5th, and our lesson this morning is Punishment for Disobedience. Punishment for Disobedience. And my name is Charlene, Sister Charlene Winston, and I'll be bringing you the lesson this morning. And the scripture lesson takes read. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord did the, delivered them into the hand of Midian seven years. And the hand of Midian prevailed against Israel. And because of the Midianites, the children of Israel made them the dens which are in the mountains, and caves, and strongholds. And so it was when Israel had sown that the Midianites came up, and the Amalekites, and the children of the east, even they came up against them, and they, and they encamped against them, and destroyed the increase of the earth, till thou came unto Gaza, and left no sustenance for Israel, neither sheep, nor ox, nor ass. For they came up with their cattle and their tents, and they came as grasshopper for multitude. For both they and their camels were without number, and they entered into the land to destroy it. And Israel was greatly impoverished because of the Midianites. And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord. And it came to pass when the children of Israel cried unto the Lord because of the Midianites, that the Lord sent a prophet unto the children of Israel, which said unto them, Thus said the Lord, God of Israel, I brought you up from Egypt and brought you forth out of the house of bondage. And I delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians and out of the hand of all that oppress you and drave them out from before you and gave you their land. And I said unto you, I am the Lord your God. Fear not the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell, but ye have not obeyed my voice. Amen. This is a great lesson. We'll be in Judges for a while. Uh, Judges is one of the chapters that uh, speaks about the different prophets that the Lord brings forth and the judges that he puts over the people to help them because they stray away from the Lord. And when we stray away from the Lord, it uh, we end up in trouble. We end up in trouble that we can't uh, manage, we can't handle. And if we uh, go to the Lord, and as the children of Israel they had went ahead first. We do everything uh, that we can think of to try to fix the situation before we go to the Lord. And after they had went ahead in dens and they had uh, made uh, caves and, and things to live in and they still uh, wasn't uh, being brought forth out of their situation, the people was still after them, then they decided to call on the Lord. Then they decided to to to, to ask the Lord for help. And just as a, a parent, uh, many times will before they uh, uh, punish a child or, or spank a child, they tell them what they done did wrong. They tell them where they at, uh, what situation, what you know. I did this, and you you still uh, is disobedient. So this is why you had this punishment, and this is. Um, how the Lord is speaking to the Israelites. He's giving them a uh, 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 tongue whooping first, you know, reminding them that he, what he has done, and yet and still you're going to do what you want to do. I'm going to read you a short passage from the uh, Matthew Henry Concise Commentary. It says, Israel's sin was renewed, and Israel's trouble were repeated. Let all that sin expect to suffer. The Israelites hid themselves in dens and caves. Such was the effect of guilty consciences. Sin dispirits men. The invaders left no food for Israel except what was taken into the caves. They prepared that for Baal with which God should have been served. Now God justly sends an enemy to take it away in the season thereof. And the children and, and they cried to God for a deliverer, and he sent them a prophet to teach them. When God furnishes a, a land with faithful ministry, it is a token that he has mercy in store for it. 
He charges them with rebellion against the Lord. He intends to bring them to repentance. Repentance is real when the sinfulness of sin as disobedience to God is chiefly lamented, lamented or mourned or chiefly thought about and meditated on uh, what I did wrong and how I need to what I how I need to change my ways and what I need to do to straighten my life out. When we truly get to this point, and 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 speaking out of the mouth don't necessarily means it's coming from the heart. Doesn't necessarily mean that you have a changed mind. Uh, and the Lord wanted to make sure that they had a changed mind before they before He gave them their deliverance. Because as you can see, uh, even when uh, the Israelites were punished before, they did uh, have a fairly decent span, which was 40 years before they end up back in the same situation. So when they did repent, they did uh, have go, go a good ways before they start uh, forgetting what the Lord had done and start going back to the idol gods. I pray that you meditate on this lesson today and y'all have a wonderful and blessed day.